Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session we are continuing Perl scripting. In this we are going to talk about some of the trigonometric functions and then uh, the if conditions and for loops, while loops. Okay, here we are giving a very simple mathematic function. To use mathematic function you need to use this use math colon colon trig. This is for trigonometric functions. I have given dollar $x a variable equal to tan of 10 and then print that. You can pretty much use the same thing like dollar uh, $x equal to sine of 2 then print or oh, let me have a backslash n then print dollar x print backslash n. So let us try to execute this. Now it is saying this is the tan of 10 is this value and then uh, sine of what is the value that a cat pearl 4 dot pl sine of 2 is this value. This is tan of 10 this is sine of 2. Though the trigonometric functions are available in a commercial application, you may or may not be using these functions. Let us continue with our uh, control structures. Let me delete these lines. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have a user input, $v1 equal to user input. If the user input is greater than 10, I will print a message. If the user input is less than 10, I will print another message. So how do I do that condition? If comes into picture. If $v1 greater than 10, okay, then you put a curly brace, print greater than 10. Put the curly brace end. Else, put a curly brace. Print not greater than 10. Then put the curly brace. Right. This is a fundamental control structure. So if you execute it again. It is asking for my input. Let me enter 5. It says not greater than 10. Now if I execute it once again, it is waiting for my input. I type 15 and then it is saying greater than 10. So let me cat that file. Perl4.pl. If the input is greater than 10, it prints this. If not, it comes over here. So when I gave 5, it came to this one, the else part. When I gave 15, it came to the main body then part of the if condition. The fundamental if condition. Okay. Now let us get into the looping part of it. I delete these lines. Now I am going to have a loop. The same as uh, for loop in C. For dollar i equal to 1 dollar i less than or equal to 10 dollar i plus plus then I close that bracket then within curly brace I say print dollar i backslash n okay now I put the curly brace end this is a fundamental for loop so I just print numbers 1 to 10 in the ascending order let me execute it Pearl, pearl 4 dot pl now you could see numbers 1 to 10 are getting listed the same thing can be done in while loops also so if you want to do that pearl 4 dot pl I open the file again uh, I type uh, print for loop example so that loop will be for loop okay then I come over here I'm going to give a while loop now I say dollar j equal to 1 while 
dollar j less than or equal to 10 as long as the condition is true what I do is print dollar j backslash n okay then I have to increment the j j plus plus then I in this bracket so here I'm going to print uh, while loop example so let us execute this program okay now it has got there is a post increment problem j plus plus now let us see what is the problem over there okay so it, it gives a very clear line in line number 10 that is a j plus plus I am not able to execute it let us find out what the problem is okay vi 124.pl okay now it says I should have given dollar right I gave the variable though in C or other places you don't have to give the dollar in this shell scripting you have to give say in this Perl scripting you have to give the dollar symbol so it found an error so it came out now I execute it again now you see the first loop is a for loop the second loop is the while loop. So very fundamental control structures of if then else, uh, for loop and while loop, extremely useful in day-to-day -day programming. Thank you.